Hello, hello! Today I'll be putting the JoJo's from parts 1 through 6 in different lantern cores from DC, from DC Comics. I did the same with JJK characters in my last two videos, so make sure to check those out. And I will say, I'm getting better at drawing with each video, so stay tuned for the future of my channel. I need some more blades! You don't blaze me enough! Where's my blaze at? Come on, run me my blaze, bro! For this video, I'm just doing the parts that have been animated. But I will be doing parts 7 through 9 next video. I must also say beforehand, some characters I had good reasons to put them in the Lancer cores I put them in, and others, not so much. But all of it's just for fun, so feel free to yell at me in the comments on why I'm wrong about all the pics that I put them in or whatever. Also, there will be spoilers for all of the parts discussed in this video, so parts 1 through 6. To start us off, we of course have the first JoJo from part 1, Phantom Blood, Jonathan Joestar. Jonathan is a pure-hearted gentleman who stood up for justice to protect the weak ever since he was a little youngling. Even after everything Dio put him through, JoJo's resolve never wavered and he didn't lose sight of himself. The Indigo Tribe Lantern Corps of Compassion is an honorable mention because of how he never gave it to hatred and in his last moments embraced Dio in his arms instead of trying to finish him off. This is a reasonable place to put him, but I think the two best choices for him would be either the Green Lantern Corps of Willpower or the Blue Lantern Corps of Hope. Him being a Green Lantern is great because of how determined he is when he needs to get something done and his fearlessness. He's overcome many perilous obstacles and despite that, he's never backed down. This is almost a perfect choice for him, but I personally feel like he's a better candidate for the Blue Lanterns. Blue Lanterns represent hope by having hope inside of them and instilling it in others. Jonathan always had hope that Dio would redeem himself and eventually forsake his evil ways. Yeah, Jojo still tried to kill him to stop him, but like I said earlier, he didn't use his last moments with Dio in his arms to kill him, but to show him some love with a nice hug since he knows nobody ever did that for Dio. He also gave the hope for a better future to people like Arena with the baby, Speedwagon by turning his life around and starting the Speedwagon Foundation, Zeppeli with his Hammond teachings and to defeat the evil and all that, and all the other people he met along his journey. That's why I think Jonathan Joestar should be a Blue Lantern. Ah! Joseph's Joestar is the Jojo of Part 2 Battle Tendency. He's brash, but very charismatic and has a lot of personality. He was hard to put in any singular Lantern core because of how expressive he is as a character. Possibilities I can imagine are Green Lantern core because He's got that Joestar determination in his blood that makes him unstoppable when he puts his mind to something. The Blue Lantern Corps, because of how he inspires hope in characters like Smokey, Caesar, and his teachers to defeat the Pillarmen. And the Red Lanterns, because of how ruthless he can be at times. But that one's kind of a stretch. After much contemplation and zero bias to influence my decision, I've decided to give Joseph a White Lantern ring that represents life. The reasons I put him as a White Lantern is because 1. Hammon energy is life energy, essentially. So he's already more connected to life essence than most characters. 2. He's so connected with life that he's been seemingly brought back to life twice and is one of the oldest characters by part 6 being over 90 years old by then. Still being alive, by the way. Third reason is that Joseph was around 62 when he cheated on his wife with Josuke's mom. This means he still had that life essence in his seat. He has a lively personality. Moving on. Jotaro Kujo from Part 3, Stardust Crusaders is the most iconic Jojo, but also happens to be the most stoic. He doesn't often say how he's feeling, usually letting his hands do that for him. This is the side effect of people thinking he's just angry all the time. The Red Lantern Corps is probably where most people would try to put him if you look at him at face value. When you think of Jotaro, of course, you think of the aura auras and staring menacingly at the camera. 
The Lantern Corps his enemies would probably say he belongs in is the Yellow Lantern Corps that represents fear. Imagine beefing with a 6'3 brolic Japanese dude with a giant chain hanging from his collar, and he just looks at you, takes two steps from 15 feet away, and you see your own body from the sky's perspective because he beat the soul out of you with his invisible ghost man. I'd be thinking twice about walking up to anyone after that as well. Yellow Lanterns also channel their own fear to use as fuel as well. You can say Jotaro was fearing for his mom and his friends' lives throughout the whole journey to find Dio. Despite all of that, I actually think there's a better choice for our emotionally unavailable friend. You all think of Jotaro as a scary, angry delinquent, but in truth, he's really just a lover boy. I believe the Star Sapphire Lantern Corps is the best pick for Jotaro. Can't you just tell that he's the embodiment of love? But seriously, in part three, his love for his mom was the reason that he joined his grandpa and his wacky band of random foreigners on a journey across the entire world just to jump one guy and beat him to death. And even more so, at the end of part six when he had his memory stolen and somehow came back from a coma, in a split second decision between saving his daughter who has been shown to mostly hate him up to that point, and killing Poochie, which would save the world and end the threat, he went to save Jolene, sacrificing his own life. It also helps my case that his stand is Star Platinum and the Lantern Corps are the Star Sapphires. So I think Jotaro belongs here. Josuke Higashikata is the Jojo of part four. Diamond is unbreakable. He's another delinquent type who's quick to anger, but can be compassionate at times, like with Hayato and Lamy. He shows a lot of emotions throughout the story, just like his dad, so picking the right group for him took some mental gymnastics on my part. First potential picks are rage because of how easily he's angered when you talk about his hair, and willpower because of how hard he works to find Kira, and never giving into the fear of an elusive serial killer hiding in plain sight that may be after him. So initially, I plan to make Josuke a yellow lantern, huh? and I know what you're gonna say. How does that make any sense at all? It doesn't, unless you turn your brain off. Essentially, my cope was that people get scared of him when his hair gets insulted and he gets all raged out, but that's definitely a gumbo gumbo no bolt action sniper stretch. I also used the potential reasoning that he could be using a fear of Kara to fuel his determination or whatever, but that's just some hoopla at this point. Eventually, I changed my mind right before starting the drawing, so I shall now explain why I think Josuke is actually a better fit to be a Blue Lantern. Blue Lanterns are known for their healing abilities, as well as boosting the powers of their allies, specifically Green Lanterns, when fighting alongside them. This makes them heavy hitters in battle, as well as support, exactly what Josuke is in the Morio crew. Also, the reasoning of Josuke instilling hope into his friends and people he meets like Hayato and Raimi to stop Kira, Kira to stop Kira is a way better explanation and makes more sense. Giorno Giovanna is Le Giorgio of Parte Cinco, Vento Oreo. What the Giorno's ring was originally the easiest to determine, but slightly complicated as I thought about certain things. Giorno is the most nuanced and uh, let's be honest, the nigga's boring. I'm just joking, but people really do think that Giorno has no personality. But just like with Jotaro, you gotta look between the lines. We can get the honorable mentions out of the way, starting with the Blue Lantern Corps. He may fit here because he was the hope for a new age of gangsters because mafia bosses like Diavolo were corrupting the youth and doing real thug activities. I'll also mention that he could be a White Lantern because his power is to literally give life to anything, so embodying life makes sense for Giorno. Just like with Josuke's lantern choice, I switched up the original plans right before starting to draw it. The original choice was to put Giorgio in the Green Lantern Corps alone, but which I'm still doing. However, as you can probably see by this point, that ain't the only ring he's equipped with. Giorno loves him some willpower, 
He had a whole speech talking about his resolve, and we can clearly see it through his journey being a 15-year-old chap and overthrowing the literal head of the organization. He never let the fear of being hunted by this terrible mafia boss stifle his resolve even when other members were too afraid to keep going. That's why I believe he's a good pick to be a Green Lantern. Now to discuss the other ring. We know Giorno is the biological son of the one and only Dio. We know what kind of aura Dio had and how people feared and respected him. His aura did in fact get passed down to Giorno in seemingly only Giorno because his other sons are but ugly and down to earth. But that's besides it. The second ring that has chosen Giorno Giovanna is a yellow lantern ring. From the perspective of Giorno having fear in his heart, he was literally being hunted by Diavolo, the invisible, unexplainable, and undetectable leader of Passione, who he knows runs the cities and tortures and kills anyone who gets in his way. Especially after Bruno almost got packed up and they brought Trish along, Giorno definitely was feeling the fear but he used that fear to rise up and protect his peoples through thick and thin, unlike that fraud Fugo. From the perspective of Giorno instilling fear in others, he's one, the son of Dio, he's got it like that, and two, when people see what he can really do and start having beetles crawling out of their skin, they feel that fear. When Giorno awakened, Gold experienced Requiem, that was when he was peak fear. He had Diavolo looking back at himself, caught in an infinite genjutsu and he wanted nothing to do with Giorno. And of course, when Giorno became the head of Passione, his fear factor probably skyrocketed since people know he can make you disappear if you step out of line. So yeah, Giorno is a wielder of a green lantern and a yellow lantern ring. Pick whichever one you think makes the most sense. For the final Jojo of this video, we have Jolene Kujo from Part 6 Stone Ocean. Jolene is the daughter of Jotaro, and just like her father at times, she's kind of rough. She's still got the Joestar determination to do anything she puts her mind to, and is very expressive compared to the other stoic Jojos. Picking her spot on the emotional spectrum was quite easy for me, and I think is the only one that I locked in for her, like from the beginning. We could still go through the honorable mentions, such as the Purple Lantern Corps, which I bring up mostly because she ended up not hating Jotaro in the end after being on his head for most of the interactions because he's a deadbeat. Willpower is an obvious choice, like for all the other Jojos, but with her and all she had to fight against, her case makes me feel like she needed the most willpower to not let her situation get to her and discourage her. She already started off getting put in prison for something she didn't do, then had to deal with corrupt cops and weird old priests, as well as random people trying to kill her for whatever reason they could come up with at the moment. All of that, plus having to save your dad who you previously hated, and having to prevent the world as you know from being eradicated would have anybody feel like pulling a Thunder and Queen special on themselves. In the end, she still managed to push through all that fire to do what's right and move towards her goals. With that being said, the lantern ring I chose to bequeath her with is actually the Red Lantern Ring of Rage. I think Rage best suits Jolene because of how much her anger fuels her to overcome so many obstacles. Like I said during the willpower ramble, Jolene was put in the worst position that forced her to push through impossible odds, but I think her desire to retaliate against her obstacles or anything that was in her way was the thing that pushed her forward. Anytime somebody would try to try her, she'd rage against them. From the beginning, she already had hatred in her heart for her father and Romeo for what they did to her. So I think when taking into account all the Aura Auras, she's got to be a Red Lantern. And there we have it. I must say that I am impressed with how these came out. I started working on Jonathan and Joseph in like February, but once I started the Jotaro sketch, some stuff happened and I eventually ended up uh, taking a hiatus from the video for a while. I went on a, uh, on a little training arc in life and uh, I'll just say that I'm better than I've been in years at this moment. We do not care. I also took the time to develop my art skills and learn some new techniques. That's why there may be a change in quality as well as uh, me showing more of the drawing process too. Like I said at the beginning, I'm doing Johnny, Gappy, and Jodio for the next video. But after that, I'm moving on to something else. I may be doing another series as Lantern Corps, uh, or as Lanterns, 
like One Piece, or I may do a video discussing topics about other manga that I read, or have read. Either way, I'll be trying to find a method to be more consistent. Thanks for watching, and if you liked the video, be sure to slam that 